next item in the front here, since this car had so few miles on it, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to replace the uh, ball joint dust boots. It's an uncommon thing to do. Usually ball joints wear out fast enough that it's not really worth messing with these dust boots. But this car has so few miles on it and it's in such good shape, the ball joints were all savable. So Mark is cutting off the old dust boot. It keeps the grease in the ball joint and the dirt out. They got damaged taking the thing apart, and even if they hadn't, you'd want to replace them just because they're 40 years old. So he's bought some universal dust boots, and we don't yet know how well they're going to fit. He's going to clean up the whole area there and see how these guys fit. Very often when we do this brake uh, upgrade on people's cars, they want a whole new suspension built. Uh, this client isn't interested in that. This car was in really good shape. The suspension doesn't need much. He just wanted the killer brakes to go with his killer motor. Still seems to fit pretty tight at the bottom, so we can go ahead and mount the spindle there. It'll be held in place with the yeah, it'll be held in place when we put the spindle on it, so it's a little bit loose now, but it'll work well.